Eric and I are actually going to take this uh, this uh, time off, and we're going to mute our mics. And I have a feeling that Bruce Perky is going to uh, worship the altar of the attachment diaries. Can you just teach me and Eric what we just saw, um, and and what learn us <laughs> learn us some things about the ways of what attachment is and babies or abortions or non-abortions and oh that's not anything well, uh, about this movie <laughs> <laughs> okay attachment diaries uh, me and eric are muting the mic eric's gonna get some shish kebabs the exact opposite of abortions I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's true that's true very interesting eric okay the floor is yours bruce perky the attachment diaries uh directed by oh boy do i have the name right uh is it valen valentine javier demont demont dement Okay, and uh, Javier Dement, I believe. Yes. Sounds good. Dement. Uh, this this movie, oh boy, this grabbed me right from the get go. The visuals of this movie, I uh, freaking love this movie. So it just starts out black and white, beautiful black and white, and just a woman with missing one of the heels walking in the rain. You see her feet. I mean, it's almost it's somewhere between noir and giallo, and I love it. This movie is supposed to be in the seventies. It's supposed to take place in Argentina, and you basically have two main characters. You have Arena, who is a doctor, and you have Carla, uh, not Carla, yeah, Carla, who is her patient. And Carla shows up in the middle of the night asking for help. She she basically shows up at the gate of the, it's the home slash office of the right. doctor, Arena, and Arena takes her in, and you figure out pretty quickly that abortions are illegal this time or all this stuff's kind of under the table and she will take in arena because arena says that she has been sexually assaulted and she's pregnant as a result of that and arena says she'll take her in and she will find someone to take the baby but she's going to have to live there and stay in her house and kind of follow her rules she's a very very stern strict kind of a taskmaster of a doctor kind of a almost a mad scientist of a doctor is the way she seems you know and that is the beginning of this very very odd relationship high melodrama but in ways that i absolutely loved and good god how can i describe all the things that happens in this movie does this movie go bruce does it go slower than time itself i i would just wonder uh, no i love this movie <laughs> i love everything about this movie um you basically have this weird situation where um, the woman Carla is like this kept woman in this house, just being waiting to have a baby. And Irina is going to essentially bring in possible parents to meet her. And but I don't even want to say what happens. Yeah, things go, yeah I, I was going to say pump the brakes on that. <laughs> things go very, very sideways in a super stylish way that I adored. And then they go sideways again in a way you're not expecting. There's things that are, I can't even say, there's things that are happening that you think are happening that are not happening. <laughs> How can I be more vague? And there is a visual reveal at about the two thirds mark of this movie that was also glorious. I love everything about this movie. This movie is fantastic. I will say this, no matter what my review is of The Attachment Diaries is, I'm assuming this movie with the languages in Spanish, the country of origin, like Bruce was saying, is Argentina. It's a it's a limited budget, I'm sure, with what they're working with. And it's proof that with a limited budget, with the constraints, you can still make a visually expressive and expansive work of art. So yeah, that is the attachment diaries. Bruce is really into it. I don't know, Eric, it's slow paced interesting meditative reflective sometimes violent who knows maybe it's violent intellectually or emotionally what did you think of the attachment diaries this is really tough because all the stuff that i really love about this i cannot talk about <laughs> i kind of almost want to do a spoiler just on this um but i i would say early on i i love the the black and white look I, you know the like like bruce said the giallo and kind of uh film noir look to it um the story was going a little slow for my taste at, at the beginning, but just stick with it. <laughs> it, 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 it goes that's places. Right. And that that's about all I can say because there, there are so many kind of twists and turns. And actually the weird thing is in this kind of, I'd, I'd love to talk to you off air to a spoiler. There's a, there's a twist in this that becomes kind of one of the main, main plot points. I think people might think is uh what what's the word 
Uh, mm. it, it's <laughs> not a not awesome. the twist. Yeah, it's <laughs> no, a twist. No, it's uh, self defeating. It's it's uh, jumping the shark. Irresponsible. Irresponsible. We'll, we'll say irresponsible. Right. Uh, when you find out, mm-hmm. right? Of the, I, I, I hope you two know right. what I'm talking about. Yes, but, I do. But there's, there, a, there, there's a there's a, there's a, there's a certain there's a certain person that could watch this movie and take a certain thing away from it, and some people don't need that much trouble taking that certain thing away from it. That I think is a bit irresponsible, but man, yes, it it, it goes places. I did just just watch it. That, that that's all I'll say. Just watch it. <laughs> Well, look, there's, if you want to actually be sort of the morality police or have more, a moral high ground, which I, I'm not eschewing that. I mean, if, if that's one, if that's what, let's say, a, a watcher is, has maybe some moral fiber issues, there will be issues to be found. But if you like your characters well rounded and human yeah. and flawed and morally question, questionable and you're okay with it, then I think the attachment diaries will be fine. But uh, uh, real yes. quick to the, and we really should be doing a spoiler discussion on this, but the the whole moral quandary isn't so much um, of the filmmakers. It's someone with that point of view to begin with. You're right. Right. Might point to this movie saying, see, see, that's why. And this sucks. I cannot talk about any of this. (laughs) Okay. And again, like it's directed by Valentin Javier demand, visually expressive, alluring, beautiful, great lead performances by the actresses, as well as the ensemble, the ensemble. There's a, there's a person who actually gets the doctor, some, some of her weekly stuff. He's good in this movie. There's also (laughs) there, I guess what I not even made their housekeeper who do, who it's very responsible and is okay with keeping secrets. There's different people there. There's a nice uh, Tony couple who have a lot of money. They they pop in and out of the attachment <laughs> diaries. There's rain. There's black and white. And again, there's Jalo influences. My only warning, Eric mentioned a warning about some people might might not cotton to some of the the stuff of the attachment diaries. Stick if you are looking for a Tony Scott edited <laughs> movie with suspense thriller with cuts every single second, or just a fast paced movie. You come to the wrong film. You have to actually wait for the story to evolve. And if you're on that actual train and that actual rhythm, I think the attachment diaries should be right up your alley. Especially if you like, if you're a fan of Jalo, noir, horror, uh, love stories, twisted love, interesting love stories. De Palma, De Palma. Yeah, some interesting (laughs) stuff. Interesting stuff. Let's get to ratings. Eric Holmes, the final. Oh, final thoughts on the attachment diaries, Bruce. You love it so much. Final thoughts. I just hope this doesn't get buried in it. I'm sure it will. I think this movie needs to be discovered by some people. And I think it hopefully will. I have somebody I would suggest this to right now who loves these kind of films. I only want to say because it might give away what kind of film this is. But Oh, yeah. very, very, very good. Great. Oh, great, great. Okay, so Eric Holmes, your rating on The Attachment Diaries. Um, If you can watch a movie for the uh, points of view that it has and you are a grown, mature adult, this would probably be a four and a half. If you're the type of person that likes to victim blame people or you know someone that likes to victim blame people, keep them far away from this movie because it will give them way too many ideas that they don't need to be having. Uh, mm. but, but, but yeah, this, this is a really great movie. So this is a four and a half stars from Eric Holmes. What is your rating, Bruce Perky? Uh, five stars. Five stars. I was a little bit disappointed. Five stars? Five stars? That's a lot. Uh, you know, that's the perfect score. Five, um, well, I, it's not the five-star classic, but it's a five-star banger from Bruce Perky. Yeah. That was your number one this this week. Yes, Eric Holmes. And I'm giving this one this movie one star just out of spite of all these high ratings. <laughs> I don't want to be different. No, Eric Holmes, what are you going to say? Yes. I, so there's also porn in this movie. So let that be... It's real like that 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 movie that Jack Horner and Boogie Nights wanted to make. I want them to, I want them. They're so you know, it's there a are. family show, but they can't leave because they need to know how the story ends. Bruce, this is the movie that Jack Horner wanted to make that he never did. Right, Bruce. Bruce and I, we're so old. We remember on on TV Guide. Bruce, remember when there, we, we would look at the TV Guide and there'd be on TV or select TV or HBO, and they would say rated R for violence and sexual situations. Nudity, situa- nudity <laughs> and yeah. sexual situations. Yes. And but, and by the way, when I say porn, that's not disparaging this movie. I think porn is an underutilized genre and that more. Uh, movie should uh, or a movie should employ as this one does in certain areas. Okay. 
Well, the, there are there is nudity and sexual situations in the attachment oh. diaries. It's called the attachment diaries. So some people have to be attached. At at I was gonna say join at the hip, but there's you can imagine. Let hey, you imagine stand one while ass up. This is a family show. It, it, it's a very very <laughs> family show. Again, the attachment diaries opening at IFC Center on May 26. Per Bruce's warning, let's not get this movie buried. Let's see some more attention for this film, which is very 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 good.